following CannabisRadio.com program contains explicit language and content that can be considered graphic and offensive. This program is not suitable for all audiences, and the opinions expressed do not reflect those of CannabisRadio.com, its staff, management, or sponsors. Listener discretion is advised. September 9th. 2016. Our Savior of the Weeds prophecy shall be fulfilled. Stay tuned to CannabisRadio.com and StonerJesus.net. Okay, so I'm here at this, uh, this fucking park, man. Where uh, Stoner Jesus sent me. It's, it's really late at night. Uh, let's see what the fuck's going on. I don't, I don't see anybody. It's supposed to be like an Occupy uh, thing going on down here. Um, no, I see anybody. Oh, here, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here's a, here's a couple guys. I see a couple guys walking up to me. Uh, let, me uh, let me do a little interview. Like in a real reporting style. You'd be proud of me, Stanley Jesus. What's this? Uh, hello, fellas. Uh, what is the... Uh, I understand you're down here uh, protesting the, uh, the corruption of the, uh, the federal government and the Wall Street uh, robber barons and all that shit. Uh, so you were talking about it, so... What? What? What are you saying? What? No, what, what, what are you talking about? No, just, just calm down. Fuck you, bro. Calm down, dude. Right, so huh? I gotta wait for this shit to get off the inside of the toilet bowl. What's his problem, man? This is fucking... He's crazy. You don't want to fuck no, with no, us. No, no, man, I'm dead fucking no. serious. No, no, back up. Back up. No, my God. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, you stupid bastard. Oh, help. Oh, rape. Rape. Help me. Oh, fuck. Where the fuck are these? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I feel like I kicked on a retard or something. I wish you would fall off of a cliff and fall on your... This show is a well-oiled machine. Oh. Pieces shaped like penises. That's gold, son. CannabisRadio.com presents the Stoner Jesus Show. Fucking Christ. Stoner Jesus Show Podcast, August 24th, 2016. Welcome to everyone listening live and on podcast. We're live on CanvasRadio.com. If you're listening live on CanvasRadio.com, you're less than an hour away from the Tommy Chong Podcast. Every Wednesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific Time. Huge show tonight. I'm a real-life movie director. That's right. Diablo Dean. He's a director of Deaton Back's Save the World, starring Jason Mewes of Jay and Silent Bob fame. Many other movies. He played Jay of Jay and Silent Bob in what, like five or six movies? I don't know. I didn't go count them. We'll talk to Dean tonight. I've seen Deaton Back Save the World. It's, it's unlike anything I've ever seen definitely a good way to describe it. It's not your run-of-the-mill, humdrum type of movie. If it, was a, if it was a person, this movie, it'd be the type of person that would grab you by the nuts. Get, get a good fucking grip around that ball sack. If you know anybody like that. But you may, you may not. If you know St. Peter. <laughs> Speaking of St. Peter, he is still in exile. He left another voicemail. We'll get to that in a minute. I'm on Twitter at Sterner Jesus 420 Just passed up 100,000 tweets. 
crazy, crazy shit. Seven and a half years on Twitter, 145,000 followers, 100,000 tweets. Just crazy. Thanks to everybody again who retweets and otherwise promotes Staring Jesus 420 on Twitter. Incredible run so far. And I'm not going anywhere. I got nothing better to do. <laughs> if you want to email the show, stonerjesus420 at gmail.com. Send prayers. Uh, I don't know. Hate mail. Please direct all hate mail to the email. I need to kind of, kind of like keep it all you know together. I want to know where I can find it. I want to know where I can find it if I need it. If I need my hate mail, I know where to go. Although I don't get as much as I did a long time ago. Four or five years ago. Maybe that's my fault. I don't know. Maybe I'm not being badass enough. Maybe more badassery is is needed, necessary. If you're on Facebook, search Disciples of Stoner Jesus on Facebook. It's our group for the show. It's where hardcore fans of the show hang out. Disciples of Stoner Jesus on Facebook. And as I said, we will get to the, the uh, voicemail from St. Peter Hearn in a moment. Also, tonight, Hashtag Christ Update. I'm uh, a little disappointed the way things are going there, but I still think we can I think we can get this done. I really do. I think this, you know, things will come together when they need to come together. you got to have faith. you got to have faith. Things will come together, and we will defeat the Antichrist. If you don't know who the Antichrist is, motherfuck, where have you been? I've been talking about this shit for two years. You get all the information that you need coming up on the Stern Jesus Show. Also, let me check out some other shit from around the internet later if we have time. We're about 24 minutes away from Diablo Dean. Diablo Dean 1 on Twitter. It's Diablo Dean and the number one. Director of Deaton Backs, Save the World. Talk to him about the movie, his career. It's an interesting story about the movie. Maybe not as interesting as the movie itself, which, as I said, is just... It's incredibly interesting. There's no doubt about that. I believe it's on Amazon. We ask him, you know, where all the places you can get it. I'm pretty sure it's on Amazon right now for renting and buying. So you can go check that out. Now, two big things going on in the world of the Stern Jesus Show. Number one, the Toker Supply Giveaway. Go to SternJesus.net. The Stern Jesus Show Toker Supply Giveaway page has all the details has what you can win, how you can win it, all that stuff. Thanks again to TokerSupply.com. An incredible, incredible online shop. Go check them out. They have free U.S. shipping. You win awesome stuff. There's a there's a, a big water pipe. There's a gas mask water pipe, a Rasta water pipe, and a roller bowl, which is like a silicone water pipe you can fold up and take with you. And it's also indestructible. You can drop that motherfucker anywhere. And it's made of silicone, so it's not going to break. We're giving all that away. The Stoner Jesus Show Toker Supply Giveaway page on sternjesus.net. There's videos on Ford on YouTube and Facebook. I'm tweeting the shit out of it. It's unmissable. Uh, un- yeah, unmissable. It is not to be, you cannot miss it. It's unmissable. It's not inmissable. Inadmissible? Now, that's the thing that's in court. It's unmissable. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Just go, if you haven't seen it, go to SternJesus.net. It's all there. Big giveaway. September 30th, they're going to announce a winner. So you got like six weeks. Get on that shit. Damn, what are you doing? What are you waiting for? The other big thing in the Stern Jesus show, of course, the other big event going on is our move to Friday mornings, starting 9, 9, 16 on CannabisRadio.com. Wake and Bake with Stoner Jesus, 10 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m., Pacific time. It'll be a two-hour show every Friday morning, live, and of course, podcasts will go to all the same platforms you know and love, including CannabisRadio.com, iHeartRadio, Stitcher, iTunes, Spreaker, YouTube, and of course, StonerJesus.net. The live show will be Friday mornings on CannabisRadio.com, starting 9, 9, <clears throat> 16. To me, the same thing, the same show you love, but just, I'll have more energy, because that's really the number, if, on the list of reasons for the move. That's number one, is that I'm fucking tired. 
eight oh nine p.m. Eastern. I'm getting old. You know, I want to get to my Bob Evans dinner at four thirty. <laughs> not fucking around anymore. So I figure, you know what? Just do this shit in the morning. And we'll start with Friday mornings, and we'll be able to expand it to whatever other days we want. The only other addition really is going to be uh, the addition of rotating segments, what I call rotating segments, uh, different semi-regular guests every four to six weeks, somewhere in there. You'll figure it out. When, uh, when the time comes, you will know. <laughs> you will know all you need to know, and the time, of course, will be 9 nine sixteen. Now, Friday night is the Hate Group Softball League Championship game. We will be broadcasting live from the Hate Group Softball League Championship game at Joseph Goebbels Memorial Softball Park and 10-Minute Oil Change Outlet. A lot going on, as there always is, during a live championship game. we got three teams this time. We're going to have to play two of them, and then the winner's going to play the last one. It's going to be all fucked up. So the other night, we played a voicemail from St. Peter. He's, uh, he's mad, of course about the specs it and being exiled from the show and the Twitter vote and so on and so forth. You know, everything we've been doing in the last two months or whatever, we always have some summer shenanigans with St. Peter. <laughs> Who remembers a couple years ago? We sent New Mexico to get Chemo Suave, our little bald Mexican intern. That didn't work out so well. Don't have him. Fucking St. Peter's gone. Everybody's gone. It's just me. It's bullshit. So anyway, St. Peter... He had a long summer, and the saga would be an exile from the show. The other night, he leaves us a voicemail threatening to come down Friday night to a Joseph Goebbels Memorial Softball Park and, and have it out with me, duke it out with me, whatever. Uh, <laughs> but apparently, as you know, St. Peter does a lot of drugs, a lot of alcohol. He's killed a lot of brain cells. And it seems he doesn't remember whether or not he actually called me and actually left a voicemail. So he decided just to be safe that he would call and leave another voicemail by the same subject. Whoops. Play, come on. Uh, hey, hey, Jesus. Hey, Jesus, St. Peter. Uh, I've been pretty messed up the last couple of days. I couldn't remember if I left a voicemail for you telling you <laughs> that uh, I'm going to be at the Hate Group Softball League Championship game. Down at Goebbels Memorial uh, Friday night. I thought I did. I thought I left you a voicemail about that, telling you you better, you know. I'm going to be there, motherfucker, and, you know, you better nut up or whatever. Nut up. I got to think that maybe that could have been a dream, and I didn't actually leave a voicemail. So I figured you're better safe than sorry. I'll just leave another voicemail. Or this may be the first voicemail. I don't really know, like I said. I've been pretty messed up the last few days. Uh, let me get my shit together. Friday night, man, it's on. You know, this, this exile bullshit and this specs of bullshit kicking me off the show. I'm, I'm fucking tired of all of it, man. Friday night, hit group, softball league championship game. We'll be there, motherfucker. It's going to be on. It's going to be on like a, a fucking game, man. A game with the fucking monkey. He's got the barrels. And he's doing the fucking barrels. With the, why can't I remember that fucking game? It's a fucking barrel monkey game. It's going to be on like the barrel monkey game. Barrel monkey game. Oh, uh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, so fuck you, man. I'll be there Friday night. Hope I remember later if I, if I left this voicemail. Okay, I guess that was it. I thought it was more. But, uh... <laughs> By the way, the, the barrel monkey game, again, as you pointed out the other night, is Donkey Kong. It's on like Donkey Kong. Was the, the answer we were looking for was Donkey Kong. So that's what's going on with Peter. Got an Antichrist update coming up. And Diablo Dean, director of Deaton Backs, Save the World. All that coming up later tonight. Stern Jesus Show podcast, August 24th, 2016. Stay tuned. Biatches. The Stoner Jesus Show on CannabisRadio.com. The Stoner Jesus Show is brought to you by Celebrity Dildo. 
Make sure you check out that Celebrity Dildo banner on stonerjesus.net or just go to celebritydildo.com. Celebrity Dildo has released a new and exciting range of premium silicone dildos and have finally combined the two worlds of novelty and function. Celebrity Dildos are made of premium medical-grade silicone. They're firm yet flexible and velvet to the touch. Durable, non-porous, odorless, hypoallergenic, and let's face it, they are just a great conversation piece. If you want to check out Celebrity Dildo, go check out their banner on stonerjesus.net. And follow them on all their social media networks. Celebrity Dildo, awesome sponsor of the Stoner Jesus Show. Make sure you check them out on stonerjesus.net. political climate is at a fever pitch and the fight for the social fabric of america is set for battle this november tuesday november 8th the cannabis liberation movement takes a huge step forward and cannabis radio is here to chronicle this legendary moment cannabisradio.com and the cannabis radio news team will feature wall-to-wall live coverage of all the coast-to-coast voting of state amendments ballots, propositions, and initiatives that will further progress the Cannabis Crusade. Join us November 8th for Vote 2016, the path to cannabis freedom, only on CannabisRadio.com. Oh, let the marijuana llama tell you something now About a game for your phone gonna make you say wow The game's about the game of growing cannabis for cash Grow the seeds, sell the bud, put the savings in the stash Little by little your empire grows large Put the fake celebrities inside your entourage You can choose to play with Snoop or me or Chichin Chong Cypress Hill, Willie Nelson, Wiz Khalifa with a bong The name of the game is him pink, that's the point Download and play while you light yourself a joint Business and cannabis should be no crime. Hemp Inc. is even hot proved by the man who run high times. Oh, yeah. Get it on Android and I and iOS today. Marijuana Llama out. Got to tend to me on crops, you know. Money don't make itself. Hemp Inc. Hello, my children. Stoner Jesus here to tell you that the Stoner Jesus Show is moving our live time for the show. Starting on September 9th, 2016. You can join us for Wake and Bake with Stoner Jesus live on CannabisRadio.com. That's 9916 live on CannabisRadio.com, 10 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Pacific. Morning radio will never be the same. Come Wake and Bake with me, 9916 on CannabisRadio.com. Great websites today need expert web design and development and need to be e-commerce ready and mobile friendly. But building a marketable and profitable website can be an uphill climb. Ready to make your new website or replace your existing website? Think Orange as the new way to get in the black. Orange Hill Development works with Fortune 500 companies and offer the same top quality development service at a fraction of what other providers charge. Brands like Absolute, Carlsberg, and Nest T trust Orange Hill Development. Find out why you should trust your website with Orange Hill. Contact Orange Hill for a consultation today at orangehilldevelopment.com. Tommy Chong Show on Cannabis Radio. You got me running. You got me hiding. Run, hide, and hide, run any way you won't let it roll. Shut up and do a podcast as I want you to do. Well, that sounds like a good idea. The Tommy Chung Podcast, only on CannabisRadio.com. The following CannabisRadio.com program contains explicit language and content that can be considered graphic and offensive. This program is not suitable for all audiences, and the opinions expressed do not reflect those of CannabisRadio.com, its staff, management, or sponsors. Listener discretion is advised. Ah, uh, yeah, Stern Jesus Show podcast, August 24th, 2016. 
Welcome to everyone listening live on CanvasRadio.com and listening to the podcast. All of our platforms, Diablo Dean, the director of Deaton Back Save the World, coming up. Now it's time for an Antichrist update. It's foretold in the scriptures long ago that an Antichrist would rise. An Antichrist with which I would have to do battle for the motherfucking kingdom of heaven. Antichrist has been identified. <clears throat> we update you in the Antichrist update. She knew I was eventually going to ask her to marry me. I just had to get that ring right. When I came back from the hospital, the first thing I did was go look at my badge in the mirror. It's time now for an Antichrist update. <laughs> Oh, yeah. We update you on the Antichrist. Of course, the Antichrist, if you haven't figured it out yet, is none other than Little Northwest, a.k.a. Kim Ye Jr., a.k.a. the demon spawn of Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. We update you on the comings and goings, the intelligence, the uh, the, the, everything, the information we need to eventually bring down the Antichrist in battle. I must say, in the few minutes we have to do this, I'm really disappointed in Taylor Swift. I have not been contacted by Taylor Swift. I really thought that there we had an ally in this battle. Maybe she's waiting. Maybe she's, you know, marshalling her forces for the uh, the coming battle. I don't know. Just know that I'm awaiting contact from her or a representative from her. You know, we can collaborate on defeating the Antichrist. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, as they say. This is from Vogue.com. Northwest reveals the Kardashian family secret to glowing skin. There we go. That's the type of stuff I'm talking about right there. Intelligence. Finding the secrets that can be exploited in the coming battle. It's very dramatic. If you talk like this. From Vogue, consider the Kardashians' collective love for surreally lit from within skin craft, carefully crafted with next level filters and a generous use of highlighter by every member of the famous clan, yet a rather unexpected piece of the family secret was revealed on Instagram today where Kim Kardashian West shared an adorable shot of her daughter North <coughs> Christ. in the bathtub surrounded by glow sticks. Ah, oh, yes, that's one of the ways that the Antichrist draws in her power. From the common glow stick that we found in a rave in the puke of some ecstasy-ridden horror. Beyond the sheer whimsy <laughs> of the candid snap, the unorthodox beauty ritual had the canny effect of bathing young North's complexion in pale, fluorescent, and surprisingly photogenic light. Because what better way than an amped-up bath to get Kardashian-level glowing? <laughs> so there, we <laughs> will... File that away. The intelligence files. The glow sticks. The glow sticks must be destroyed. Usmagazine.com. Northwest plays violin, dances while vacationing in Mexico with mom Kim Kardashian. Your violin lessons are paying off. Northwest dances and plays violin. It's just those stupid reading videos. Here, read this video. Now, fuck that. Kim Kardashian and Kanye West's three-year-old daughter, North, <coughs> showed off her budding musical talent on vacation with her mom in Mexico Friday, August 19th. Kardashian, 35, hosted a belated birthday dinner for her pal H. Rush Aichimayan. What? H-R-U-S-H. H. Rush? Is that a name? Uh, they're in uh, Casa Amarama, Amarara and Punta Mita. Um, North <coughs> was quite taken with the band and ended up getting on the dance floor to show off her moves. Naturally, her reality star mom caught the whole thing on Snapchat in one clip. On Snapchat, in one clip, the little girl rocking some printed pajamas and sparkly fairy wings can be seen running back and forth 
in front of the musicians waving her mom her arms up and down. She had to get up and dance, Kardashian says in the video. Doesn't take after me. Uh, what about the part of the fucking violin? At one point, the band stopped to let North try her hand at an instrument and another snap. She can be seen in her drawing the bow across the strings of a violin while one of the musicians holds it steady. Your violin lessons are paying off, Kardashian tells her. Another nugget of information. The violin. Must get to the violin. <laughs> it's gonna, right, who's writing this down? Somebody better writing all this shit down. I already forgot. I can't keep track of all this shit. That is an Antichrist update. Very important things going on. It's a battle. It's a battle. It's a battle we will win. Have no fear. Stern Jesus is on the case. We've got squirrels. We've got rabbits. We've got some other things. Hopefully Taylor Swift. It's all coming together. What do they have? Their millions of dollars and adoring fans and all that shit. And their glow sticks and fairy wings and violins. Oh, yeah, that's a lot, but have no fear. Stern Jesus Show podcast, August 24th, 2016. <laughs> that's right. Joe Destruction in the chat room says educational radio. You, you laugh now. People out there in listening land. But when it turns out Northwest is the Antichrist and the only hope for humanity is me. Well, who'll be laughing then? I don't know. This is a rhetorical question. Stern G Show Podcast, Diablo Dean, director of Deatonback, Save the World, coming up. The Stoner Jesus Show on CannabisRadio.com. Hello, my children. Stoner Jesus here again to tell you about an awesome sponsor of the show. Of course, I'm talking about Pottles. Check out the Pottles banner on StonerJesus.net. They have all kinds of products, pinner tubes, blunt tubes, they have glass, they have odor-free stash containers and all kinds of different sizes and colors and designs. They have uh, tablers, just so many products. I can't fit them all into a commercial. Just go click that Pottles banner on stonerjesus.net. Make sure you use promo code STONERJESUS. It's all capital letters, all one word. STONERJESUS at checkout at Pottles for 20% off. Go check out all of the amazing products Pottles has to offer. Check out that Pottles banner on stonerjesus.net and make sure you use that promo code STONERJESUS at 20% off at Pottles. I'm Radical Russ from the Russ Belleville Show. We're here with Sir Richard Branson. Far more damage has been done to people by the current approach. Jim McMahon. You know, a lot of the coaches are old school. You know, he used to just yell at us, go, oh, you bunch of bot smokers. John Popper on the telephone. You know, I think in the 60s, there was that kind of, the bigotry wasn't so common. It's the Russ Belleville Show, the NPR of POT, weekdays live at 6 Eastern, 3 Pacific, exclusively on CannabisRadio.com. The cannabis business industry is growing. Business is booming. And as new opportunities arise in newly legalized states, each market is getting more competitive. Today, it takes more than just being a good grower. Do you have the resources to market and handle this ever-changing business landscape? Let Canna Management Corporation help you grow your cannabis business with our vast resources and experience to make your business a fully functional service company. Financial management, HR, sales, marketing, efficiency, and more. CMC has the experience and the expertise to improve your business and help you better meet the demands of your clients and customers. Call Canna Management Corporation and let our team get you ready to grow. 415-269-8015. That's 415-269-8015. Or visit canna-management.com. Cannabis use isn't the only thing growing. So are we. Grow with us. CannabisRadio.com The next generation of vaporizers has arrived. Vuber vaporizers are blazing the way with unparalleled technology for oil, concentrate, or dry flower pens. 
Providing unsurpassed customer service and expert craftsmanship, Vuber Vaporizers use cutting-edge technology, providing a power-packed, smoother vapor with a lifetime guarantee. Experience vaporizing the way it was meant to be, the Vuber way. Welcome to Cannabis Confidential. I'm your host, Dr. Dina. We've got David Faustino on the line, Bud Bundy from Married with Children. Did you feel nervous being a celebrity walking into a weed store? I don't remember at all being like, ooh, I'm scared someone's going to take my picture here. What are they going to say? Bud Bundy smokes Bud? I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be a big shocker. Hey, this is David Faustino, and I'm on Cannabis Confidential with my girl, Dr. Dina, on CannabisRadio.com. The following CannabisRadio.com program contains explicit language and content that can be considered graphic and offensive. This program is not suitable for all audiences, and the opinions expressed do not reflect those of CannabisRadio.com, its staff, management, or sponsors. Listener discretion is advised. Jesus Show podcast, August 24, 2016. Just getting back into my seat, and I think Dean was uh, calling. See if he calls back. We'll give him a call. He is calling back. There we go. You on the air here? Stone or Jesus Show Live. You're live in the air. Is this Diablo Dean? Yes, it is. How you doing, man? Hey, man, how's it going? Uh, sorry about that. I was just getting back to uh, coming back out of commercial. Uh, it's great to have you on the show, man. Oh. Thanks for taking the time to, to call in. Not a problem. Glad to be here. Thanks, man. No problem. Uh, I was telling people a little bit about the movie. But before we get into that, uh, what were you doing before you got into films? <laughs> uh, wow. What was I doing? <laughs> um, you know, I worked in healthcare. So that was pretty much uh, from, I'd say, from uh, oh, probably about 90, 91, 1990, 91, up until, you know, the 2000s was pretty much what I pretty much, that's what I did. But, uh, yeah, then one day I just decided, no, I'm gonna, I want to make uh, either TV shows or films. And here I am. Wow, so how do you transition into that? It's not, I guess it's not something you can just, you know, snap your fingers and say, hey, now I'm making movies. Coming out of the healthcare industry, how'd you, uh, uh, I guess, get to where you are today? <laughs> well, um, I did a TV show back in. I was doing when I was. Let me go back. I was doing uh, outdoor sporting events like um, mountain bike, uh, mountain bike races, triathlons, biathlons, and things like that. And I was putting on the events, and then I filmed a, one of the series of mountain bike races that was at the Washington Motocross Track up in uh, outside of Portland. And I, filmed, and I basically had a series of four races in 91 or 92, and then I filmed those. I paid the, the you know, the, the cable company to come out and film them. And uh, that's kind of what got me into it. And then then I was doing stuff on the side while I was working. And then, I don't, I don't know, probably, I'd say 99, 2000, I just said, fuck it. I'm, uh, I'm just going to figure this shit out. I'm going to do it. This is... So I would have I would have these these jobs that I would just have as temporary jobs so I could you know learn how to do it and and you know the best way the best way was uh, here in Portland every now and then a TV show would come in and get filmed here for a couple of seasons and it gives people the ability to, to and or movies they get filmed and um, gives people the ability to come and work as an extra on a set of a really cool production and so what I learned to do was um, I learned to always get called to be a group of people that would be potential background actors or extras. But then once I got there, I learned that I never wanted to be on camera because then they'd never have you back once they they saw your face. So what I would do is I kind of just work the periphery. I'd always show up. I'd be there for a week or two uh, and never get hired, but I would sit there and watch how they they did it. And that's kind of how I made the transition, just watched and learned. Wow. That's awesome. So, uh, Deaton Backs Save the World. It's I've been trying to to explain it. It's really hard to explain without giving too much away. 
um, this is a really hardcore movie. Where did the idea originally come from, and how did you get involved? Uh, wow, good question. Thank you. Um, Todd Robinson. Todd Robinson is uh, a Portland. He's, he's an actor, but he's he's a local actor here in Portland. Um, and him and a buddy uh, of his came, named Ethan Black came up with a. They shot a short new a short uh, trailer for a film called uh, Chick Magnets. And <laughs> yeah, I know. And so Chick Magnets was a story about these two dudes that when they wore these these two these particular shirts, um, women, you know, would just follow all over them, and they were magical shirts. And so I came on board to help them produce the, the thing into a film. And I made the mistake of uh, thinking I had any right or, or ability to re- rewrite the script a little bit. And what I did was I wrote um, the scene where where uh, Deaton Backs, where basically Deep goes to work and ends up in the bathroom and gets fired, and Backs is simultaneously in a hotel room. I added those two. I wrote those two scenes to add to uh, the Chick Magnet script. And they both basically told me to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think you are? You know, and, and and so that's kind of how it was born. And then it took another five years after that before we it ended up being shot. Wow, that's crazy. So I was telling people that uh, Jason Mewes, of course, from Jay and Silent Bob uh, fame and a bunch of other great movies, uh, he's the, in the lead role. How did he come to be part of the movie? Oh man, that's another good question. I'm glad you asked. Um, <laughs> Jay, Jason is a great guy, first and foremost, um, and and he has, and and he's a very sympathetic person. Otherwise, he wouldn't have had such, such a pity on us. But um, <laughs> we initially had, man, we we went through. We have a, a menagerie of deets before Jay. Um, initially, it was a guy named Dave Sheridan, who's another great actor. Uh, he was Officer Duffy. In um, or do opposite duty in Scream, I think that's what it was. And then he's been in a bunch of the Wayans Brothers films. Really funny guy. Okay. He he was the first beat. Um, we shot a little we shot a little short, uh, kind of a uh, proof of concept with him and, and Craig, who's always who's been on board the whole time and plays backs. Uh, and then Dave got a, the uh, ability opportunity to lead, play a lead in a movie called The Walking Deceased which is a spoof on The Walking Dead, which is funny. And so he went and played that. We lost him to that, which was we were glad to see him get the opportunity. Um, and then we went through, oh, man, a ton of people, a ton of people. Uh, everybody from, uh, it was uh, Dave and I catch, Sean Aston, um, Jason was was part of, a, was potentially going to do it. And this was in... Uh, uh, February of 2014. And so then finally we ended up getting Eddie Furlong and Eddie was going to play deep. And so we started shooting in May of 2014 and, uh, yeah, it didn't work out with Eddie. Let's just say that. So <laughs> we ended up, we ended up, uh, and, and, and if we ever say, and if we ever meet up and have beer or some, I'll, I'll tell you all about it. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was an interesting, it was an interesting experience that led to us shutting down production, and once again have to go out and recast for deep, and then ultimately that's how we got Jay. Um, wow! And 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 in the behind the scenes, once we start selling the DVDs, which we haven't yet, um, there's a, we have a, there's a story of how the, Jay tells a story of how it came about, how he came on board. So, uh, you know, if people want to really know from his point of view, would have to buy the DVD. <laughs> so uh <clears throat> people um like I said it's really hard to explain the movie without giving a whole lot away. I guess a better way to ask this question is people who are about to watch the movie how should they prepare themselves for what they're going to see? Uh I think they should prepare themselves. First of all, I hope they get stoned. If they don't get stoned that's fine. <laughs> uh but if they if they enjoy weed then I would in, I would encourage them to have some food. Uh, right there, some 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 finger foods and whatever it is, get fucking baked. Have somebody there that you can experience this with, because you're going to experience something you've never seen in a movie before. Because that's what I would tell them. I say it's a it's a it's a stoner action stoner comedy 
with things you've never seen in a movie ever. And, and you know, that's, I'd leave it at that. That's what I was, uh, I was saying earlier. It's, it's unlike anything I've ever seen. And I'm not an expert or anything, but I've seen, you know, several hundred, maybe a thousand movies. I don't know. And it, it's, there is nothing like I've ever seen before. And it's, uh, again, without giving too much away, obviously weed plays a major role. And uh, as I told you privately, there's a, a lot of funny shit in there. It's, it's you know, it's uh, I liked it. I mean, there you know, there was some hardcore parts that, you know, they make it a hardcore movie. But you know, overall, I thought it was great, <clears throat> and I thought it was funny as hell. Well, well thank you. We, uh, you know, I've done a lot of some podcasts and stuff, and I did one here in Portland, and. And thank you for watching the film, the film, first of all. And you're right, that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to make a movie that, and then when, after somebody watched it, they, holy shit, I don't know what I just saw, but it was crazy. <laughs> um, but, uh, so the, this, this podcast in Portland, they hadn't watched the movie. And I went to their, I went to their studio. So I'm sitting there and they go, oh, we haven't really watched it yet. And they said, okay, I said, fine, but I want you to watch it. So we're sitting there, the podcast is going. And, um, one of the hosts, he's sitting there, he's watching it, and he, he was basically, he watched the, um, he watched Jay do what nobody's ever seen anybody do in a movie before, <laughs> and he literally, when he saw that happen, he shut his laptop, and he ended the podcast. <laughs> it, it affected him that much. He literally walked out of the room, it was pissed at me, he was just, he couldn't believe it was like I duped him, and instead of like, dude, you should have watched the fucking movie. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so it was, uh, yeah, it was interesting. Yeah, I'm definitely glad I saw. You know, it's it's something that, uh, like I said, maybe uh, you really can't prepare yourself for. You just, you know, you're like you said, you're going to experience something. So get your ass in there and experience it. Yeah, um, I think you can. You know, I think if if people. If people, st- if you think bathroom humor and shit and farting and everything, that, everything that goes with bathroom humor is funny at all, um, then I think you're you're really gonna laugh. Uh, I, you know, and, and on top of that, you know, there is there is an interesting story, not a, not a very deep one, but an interesting story nonetheless. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, it is definitely worth checking out. Is is. Overall, like I said, it's funny as hell. Um, as of right now, where can people go see uh, Deaton Back Save the World if they want to check it out? Okay, Deaton Back Save the World is available um, on Amazon. Whether you want to rent it or go to Amazon Prime, get it for free. Uh, iTunes, uh, I think Xbox. It's pretty much. I think it's everywhere except for you know retail locations and stuff like that. Yeah, you say the the DVD and stuff is coming. Yeah, we're setting up uh, distribution right now with uh, dispensaries. We're right now we're aiming for uh, we're going to have about six 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 hundred uh, locations that are going to have DVDs in in Oregon, Washington, and California. That will be for another probably about another month. So kind of right right around when you know school kicks off, all that good stuff. Awesome. So uh, where can people contact you if they want to uh, follow you online? Oh shit! Why would well, well, anybody want to come take me? <laughs> <laughs> You're a big time uh, director, man. Yeah, I don't know about that. Um, they want to send you screenplays. <laughs> yeah, if you want, hey, you, you want to hire a director? You can absolutely. You give me a call and we'll make a movie. Um, I don't know. I'd say just Diablo Dean at uh, on Twitter. I think it's Diablo Dean One. I believe. I'm not sure. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I was actually I'm looking it up. It's just Diablo Dean One at Twitter and. Yeah, if y'all want to chat, hit me up. Uh, I'm always down for having fun. Awesome. Thanks, Dean. Uh, Thanks for coming on the show. I said uh, everybody should go check out Dean Back's Save the World. Uh, Keep in touch, man. Have a good night. Hey, thanks. You too. I appreciate it. Have a good night. Word. Diablo Dean, director of Dean Back's Save the World, starring Jason Mewes. It is a hardcore, interesting movie. Go check that shit out. It's on Amazon now, as you said, iTunes. All that stuff. You got to uh, check out some shit from around the internet. If you're listening live, we've got the Tommy Chong podcast coming up on canvasradio.com. This is the Stoner Jesus Show podcast, August 24th, 2016. Go check out all info on the Stoner Jesus Show. Between the Big Toker Supply giveaway on stonerjesus.net. 
We'll be back. The Stoner Jesus Show on CannabisRadio.com. The Stoner Jesus Show is brought to you in part by Hemptations.com and PlanetEverywhere.com. they got a lot of awesome stuff for you to check out. But don't just take my word for it. Let Beach, the owner of Hemptations, tell you all about it. It's a very large selection of hemp goods. Everything from reusable coffee filters to frisbees, bandanas, everything planted everywhere on the site is made in Cincinnati, Ohio, made locally. We also have other retail products from our cosmetics, uh, earthly body product, bags on the retail site. You know, again, uh, anybody local in Cincinnati can go to Hemptations.com and get the info on the site. Stores planted everywhere is our dot com is our retail site. You can hit me up on Hemptation Beach or like my Facebook page, Hemptations or Hemptations Two. I'm on Twitter, Google, <laughs> I'm on the internet everywhere, just like everyone. Um, you know, we love to hear from people all over the world positive things about industrial hemp. That's what I do. That's what we do. Largest selection of industrial hemp on the planet in the stores. And I'd like to grow that inventory to be able to say that I haven't actually checked out all the other hemp. Retail Retail spots to see if we have the largest amount on our planet everywhere, but uh, it's a it's a fair it's a fair selection. And as Beach always says, having temptations. CannabisRadio.com keeps you in the know Monday through Friday on air and on demand with Cannabis Radio News, presented with the definitive worldwide news source, the Associated Press. Stay informed with exclusive news on all things cannabis. Cannabis Radio News, live weeknights at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific, during the Russ Belville Show. Or download the daily podcast exclusively on CannabisRadio.com, as well as iTunes, Stitcher, and iHeartRadio. When breaking news happens in the cannabis industry, Cannabis Radio News delivers the details first. Play as Ted Growing, expelled botany sophomore and the biggest grower in town, only on Weed Firm Replanted. Available on the App Store and Google Play. It's a lot of work being the biggest grower in town. Maintaining a room full of plants while dealing with a slew of eccentric customers, from a hardcore partier to the curious neighbor next door. Is anybody home? Help me expand my bud business by unlocking new strains, customizing my grow room, and completing challenges that you can't get enough of. Grow your empire so big you can see it from space. Low on funds? Don't worry. Weed Firm Replanted is free to download. Download Weed Firm Replanted for free on the App Store and Google Play today. Get growing, Mr. Growing. September 9th, 2016. Vision Fuel! Our Savior of the Weeds prophecy shall be fulfilled. Stay tuned to CannabisRadio.com. stonerjesus.net While the feds and state are doing their dance, you still need to transact business and manage your cash. Go professional and let your customers pay with PayQuick. They pay you and they earn rewards points. PayQuick connects to your bank account for free and secures all of your transactions. And with PayQuick, you can pay your producers and processors for free. Plus, it pays to have it because it makes depositing your cash safe and so easy. No cops, no crooks, just compliance and comfort, knowing you have your cannabis business in check with PayQuick. PayQuick, the safe and easy way to pay. P-A-Y-Q-W-I-C-K dot com. Is ready to cut through the smoke and change the tone of Tilk Radio. You know, during Dance with the Stars, I started feeling discomfort. Yeah. yeah. And not only that, I was doing these old ma- and smells. And mm-hmm. it was kind of embarrassing because, you know, the, all the Dancing with the Stars crew, cast and crew, you know, they were all young kids. Yeah. You know, and then all of a sudden, this old guy would come along and do one of those silent farts, you know, that you don't know you're doing it. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you smell, and everybody go, what the hell smells? And, you know, and you knew it was me. And, and so I'd scurry off to the bathroom, you know. And that's when I knew that there was something wrong. The Tommy Chung Podcast. Only on CannabisRadio.com. Welcome to my world. world, world, world. Dr. Dabber, hurry. Its temperature is shooting past 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It's burning up. I'm afraid for this little guy, it's just too late. What caused the problem? 
Only Dr. Diver can maintain the perfect temperature for a smooth tasting, slower burn. This standard vaporizer lost all of its health benefits, sending it up in smoke. So you're telling me that most vapor pens burn so hot they produce smoke, not vapor? Correct. Keep away from those standard vaporizer pens and turn to Dr. Dabber. Doctor's order. Less heat, <laughs> more flavor. The following CannabisRadio.com program contains explicit language and content that can be considered graphic and offensive. This program is not suitable for all audiences, and the opinions expressed do not reflect those of CannabisRadio.com, its staff, management, or sponsors. Listener discretion is advised. And our Jesus Show podcast. August 24th, 2016. If you're listening live for about 10 minutes away from the Tommy Chong podcast. If you're listening on podcast, go check out the Tommy Chong podcast on demand at CannabisRadio.com. Of course, you can find the Stern Jesus Show on CannabisRadio.com, SternJesus.net, and many other platforms. This story is from HuffingtonPost.com. Man of Steel, doctors remove 40 knives from a man's stomach. That's right. Surgeons at this hospital in northern India just successfully removed these 40 knives from a man's stomach. Sergeant Singh, a police officer, had a severe stomach ache and a poor appetite. Doctors initially thought he might have a tumor, but a biopsy revealed the presence of metal. As soon as we placed the camera inside, we saw some metallic material on our screen, the surgeon says. There were shards of blades and wood. I had never seen anything like it. Singh said he developed a habit of swallowing blades after an accident stopped him from walking properly. It took surgeons five hours to remove all the blades. Singh is now in a stable condition. So he had an Sustainable accident. self. Oh shit! Finally, a way oh, to the help. fucking volume of that vo- that thing that video was so low. So he he gets in an accident where he can't walk, and he goes from that to swallowing knives, and he gets addicted to swallowing knives. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I guess. I mean, is that a real thing? Is that a real story? I don't know. Baseball player's Grand Slam smashes his own truck's windshield. Well, that's something. What were the fucking odds of that shit? So, a story about that. Grand Slam his player's car. Oh, well, it's the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat all in one swing of the bat. Mm, it happened last night at the Gateway Grizzlies game in Sage. A home run ball left the ballpark in the second Ooh. inning, smashing this windshield of a truck in the parking lot. Only after the game did slugger Brandon Thomas realize that the damaged truck actually belongs to him. What are the chances of that happening? <laughs> huh. yeah, broadcaster Sam Levitt tweeted, can't make this up. Brandon no. Thomas. That's what I said. The odds of that happening. The fucking old guy stole my joke. Retroactively. Hit a grand slam that smashed a windshield. That's his own truck. Yeah, Brandon Thomas got the last word tweeting. Definitely worth it. The Grizzlies <laughs> beat the Joliet Slammers 17-6. to Thomas went two for five with four RBIs. You can't make that stuff up. No, you sure. can't. I would, I would agree <laughs> with him. Definitely worth it when it's your own home. <laughs> Banter. How about this? Dog elected mayor again. It's from HuffingtonPost.com. Dog elected mayor of Cormorant, Minnesota. Duke may be the most popular politician in America winning re-election for a landmark third time in a landslide. What's the secret? Probably the fact that he's a dog and everyone loves dogs. In a vote over the weekend... The nine-year-old great uh, Pyrenees won his third consecutive term as mayor of Cormorant, Minnesota. Voters paid $1 each to cast ballots in the election, which was held during the annual Cormorant Days Festivals Festival. Everybody voted for Duke except one vote for his girlfriend, Lassie. David Rick, Duke's owner. 
<laughs> is this a real story? To an ABC station, WA, uh, WDAY. First of all, where do you pay a dollar to vote? What kind of shit is that? Um, well, Duke's role is just somewhat unusual. And Huffington Post doesn't fucking bother. They just, they just gloss over it. Oh, yeah, they paid a dollar to vote. While Duke's role is somewhat unusual, he's not the first animal to be elected to office in the U.S. Uh, road trippers. Had a fascinating look at some of the nation's non-human mayors, including two other dogs, a cat, a cow, and a beer-drinking goat named Mayor Clay Henry the <laughs> Third. Uh, nah, nah, that's funny. <laughs> I'll give you that. <laughs> a fucking goat, a beer-drinking goat. Yeah, that's that's good. Let's go to WorldStarHipHop.com. Dude hits a blunt and coughs up a nasty bubble. Well, I haven't seen this. It was not too fucking nasty. Blowing fucking chunks on the air. If you want to go see that, if you want to, it's worldstarhiphop.com, but I wouldn't fucking recommend it. He blew a fucking, he's coughing, he blows his big fucking snot bubble out of his, like, his mouth, and it's, oh my god. Oh. How about, how about this? Dude who looks like a baby claims he's 22 years old. I gotta watch that. Fuck, man, I'm running out of time. There's too much good shit here. Oh, that's weird. Hi, everybody. Hi, how you doing? This night, this night, I want to put everybody claro because everybody is confused with me. My nigga, I'm not a baby. I am a man, nigga. Look at my fucking damn, nigga. I am not baby. I'm 22 years old. My name is Jonathan, 22 years old. I am my friend. Dude, dude, six. Tops. On Santo Domingo, my throne is Santo Domingo, you know? And then, don't talk to me. You look like baby. No, my nigga, I'm, I am not fucking baby. I am a man, my nigga. You know because? Because look at my damn. Look at my damn, my nigga. I am not baby, bro. He was holding the camera down to his crotch. Ha, ha, ha. You do want to go see this. This is World Star Hip Hop. Dude looks like a baby claims he's 22 years old. This is fucking hilarious. I'm 20 fucking two years old, nigga. Ya me están poniendo tabla inglés la gente. Man, nigga, yo tengo 22, bro. You, you, estúpido, you tiene cucaracha en tu cabeza. I am a man. He's pretty bilingual. I don't give him that for being a six year old kid. <laughs> That's fucked. Up, oh man, I know we're running out of time. That sucks. Oh, there's gotta be one more. Two women have been arrested for blowing marijuana smoke in a toddler's face. God damn, that's dumb. Why? What the fuck would you even? Why did you even cross your mind? <laughs> This shocking video shows four adults smoking a joint in front of a toddler whose face we've decided to blur. Here you can see a woman trying to blow the smoke into the toddler's mouth. And even here, she tries it again. This time, the child turns his head away. Fort Hall police say that two women were arrested for child endangerment. Investigators are working on two warrants for the other two adults seen in the video, one man and another woman. The five-minute video was posted on Facebook Saturday and has since gone viral with several comments from people expressing both concern and anger for the child's well-being. Court Hall police won't release any names or booking photos of the suspects, but they are thanking the community for bringing awareness to the video, which helped make a quick arrest. Reporting in Fort Hall, Magdala Lusant, KPVI. News that Not only are stupid enough to do that, they're stupid enough to put the fucking video and allow it to get to Facebook. That's Roaster Hip Hop as well. Oh my god. 
Uh, so fucking stupid. Just, just dumb, dumb fucking people. Anyway, if you're listening live, Tommy Chong Podcast is coming up. Stern Jesus Show Podcast, August 24th, 2016. Thanks, everybody, for listening. You are awesome. Keep spreading the word about SternJesus.net. All of our social media networks are on there. Go check it out. Don't forget, Wake and Bake with Stern Jesus starts 9, 9, and 16 on CanvasRadio.com. And the Stern Jesus Show Toker Supply Giveaway. That page is on SternJesus.net. Go check it out. You can awesome prizes from TokerSupply.com. Thanks, everybody, for listening. And as always, peace, bitches.